the fact I was very young and I was experiencing my adolescence. Most of you know how hard that can be. When you do it in front of the world, it is even harder. I took a different path, one you might not expect, but along the path I learned a lot about my life, about life. It has molded me into what I am now. If I knew there would be so much pain in learning life's lessons, I would have been hesitant to take the path that I took. It's the only thing I do regret. Let me say that the path I did take for a brief period of my life was not of reckless drug use, hurting others, but it was a path of quiet rebellion, of a little experimentation of a darker side, of my confusion in a confusing world, lost in the midst of finding my identity. I made mistakes, and yes, I am to blame, and no one else. I am sorry to my loved ones that I humiliated and embarrassed, and I am sorry to my fans who I feel I let down, and I am sorry to myself for causing such pain. But I have put a great deal behind me moving forward in the right direction, the, the direction I feel is right. I feel like I've started a new chapter in my life, and I need to leave the past behind. So this will be the final time that I speak about the past. I just ask that after today you please respect my wishes. I want to thank many of you for the support you've given me in the past and here at this great U.S. Open. And I can't thank the fans enough. They have touched my heart with their support from all over the world. I feel each day for me now is getting better and better. I wrote this statement before the Open began and waited until my run was over to say all this. Thanks for listening and understanding. The reporters respected her wishes and asked her questions about tennis for about 15 minutes. Then the questions about Capriotti's personal life started again, prompting this response. I really thought that that's what it was going to do, but I was just really didn't know how to handle it or just how to go about saying it or, you know, afraid that I was going to say something wrong or I didn't know really what to say. That was just going to be right and or I wasn't going to get in trouble or anything like that, you know. Um, and so maybe that's why um, I've played with a lot of anxiety. Jennifer, do you still see the media or do you see the media as your adversary back there? I'm going to start oh. crying. <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's just... Just a little overwhelming, that's all. I just wish I didn't have to talk about this stuff all the time. <laughs>